Hey everybody, here we are at it again. So the 12th, no, the 11th has passed. It's the 12th here in Tassie, here in Australia. And I've just watched a video from a channel, same name as mine. I didn't copy, but it turns out we've got the same name. This, this gentleman is much more qualified than me. Uh, his channel is also called The Return of the King. He's making some videos at the moment, um, Stellarium based, that really suggest we could still be in a, a very significant window. Hey, I've um, uh, been through the mill on this. Man, these dates, they're a killer. Everyone looks fairly scriptural and, and everything seems to line up, yet they pass. Mm. Ooh, it's like getting dragged through a tumbler. Anyway, we're still here. We're still hopeful. I guess we just continue to wait and look. Uh, the convergence is incredible. We all know this. Um, basically, there isn't a sign that hasn't manifest now. We've got earthquakes in unusual places, we have all the signs in the heavens, we've got crazy meteorite showers and all these weird sun things, pulsing suns and reports of sun generators and just crazy stuff. You can't even fathom whether that's conspiracy or real. I mean, there's a lot of supporting evidence and videos, but they can be faked. Right now, I guess we've got to look at just what we read biblically. And biblically, we're looking for signs in the heavens. We're looking for changes in the weather. You know, the sort of thing that would make rivers dry up, like Euphrates and Mississippi, although obviously that's not mentioned in Scripture, but it's an indication that there are changes in the weather. We have earthquakes in unusual places. We've had some earthquakes here in Australia where there's never been earthquakes before. Uh, I know that's a similar worldwide at the moment. We also have a ramp up of existing sort of earthquake sites like, you know, activity on the Ring of Fire. So then we have Great Delusion. That's something to look for. Uh, could that be alien conspiracies? We certainly have uh, a preponderance of reports of alien type you know, things floating about in the sky. Where I don't even know what you call them these days. UAPs, UFOs, I don't know. So we have that. Uh, we have the fig tree generation, 1947, 48, 49. Obviously, I'm going with 48, but, you know, there's sort of a year either side if you... If you have a look at it, the, politic, the politics of, of when the governing bodies, etc., were established. So then what? Uh, let's see. Um, have all these changing political powers. We have sovereign nations that have suddenly, you know, heads of state end up dead or murdered or whatever. They're the little sovereign nations that wouldn't get on board with some of the medical protocols that were happening. Now, of course, we've got those medical protocols sort of on the back burner, but we can see that's ready to, to kick off again. Um, pretty much all the, the nastiness that we're gonna find in the Book of Revelation is ready to go. Famine, pestilence, wars, reports of wars, it's all ready to kick off. And if you have a look at the numbers as to how many people die during that period and what they die from, it's ready to go. They're all ready. It's not long. Date setting, oh, it's been killing me. These dreams everybody has and then dates pass and then more interpretation comes which sets another date which passes, 
I think we really, we really have to just get back to scripture. We know we are in the time. It's going to be any day. I think this date setting now is becoming very counterproductive for everybody, including Christians. Uh, I feel like I've been through an MMA fight. Yep. Definitely been beat about. We need to stop it, I think, just for now. I think we need to just draw close to God and accept this is going to happen any day. Uh, I would recommend Man Child Ministries. Uh, I would recommend the channel with the same name as mine, The Return of the King. Um, and from these very vigilant, seeking, intellectual, intelligent people, you can clearly see that we're there. It's about to rock and roll, guys. I'm down here in Tassie, all the way under the bottom of Australia, yet it's as obvious down here in this tiny little island state as it is anywhere else what's going on. It's also very obvious that people have chosen a camp. I'm not too sure about this great revival that's going to happen or when it's going to happen, if it's already happened. But I cannot see it happening right now. It's, it's, it's going to need to, something is going to need to precipitate it. And I believe that that will be the rapture. There will be many people left behind with enough knowledge to know exactly what has happened. And whilst the Holy Spirit during that period of time, I don't believe, will probably act, uh, will probably act the same as he does now or his interactions with people may be different because there's definitely going to be an element of works associated with the last seven years. Daniel's seven years, that's for the Jews grace goes that's what's so amazing about grace we've had it for 2,000 years totally ignored it and now it's about to get taken away people will fully appreciate what that means and it is very sad I just pray that something happens today or tonight. Uh, I'm thinking, have a look at the latest video from The Return of the King. It makes a lot of sense. I think we're very, 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 very close. Guys, we are very close. God bless you all. I hope to see you in the clouds soon.